In my hometown of Fife, Alabama, about 20 years ago or so, there's a rash of UFO sightings. And uh, so many UFO sightings in one weekend, and statistically speaking, Fife, Alabama is the number one hotspot for UFOs in the southeastern United States. So, uh, they have a festival to commemorate the event every year, and uh, Fife, Alabama UFO Days. We go there to play it every year, going back this time, it'll be a lot of fun. Wrote a song about it on the CD called Fife, Alabama UFO Blues. Figured we'd have ourselves a good time, so we loaded up the truck for a weekend trip. He threw in his tent and I loaded my gun, grabbed some wieners and the hot dog buns, and then the greens grocery to get some dip. Oh, Jim said he knew of a place, and it was just there up the road a ways, right outside our hometown of Fife. Down County Road 50, passing one big hills, where his pa had built this steel down that one dirt trail that cuts off to the right. We drove through the woods, and when I thought we had turned wrong and got lost, a clearing came up and that steel rose into view. Jim said, we just gotta watch our steps, I guarantee my pa would live if he found out we were down here drinking spruce. I said, 10 for buddy, as I stop the truck in the morning when we're loading up. I'll walk behind and make sure we've covered our tracks. Now I tell you, his paw knows how to make shine. After just one swig, I was feeling fine. We kick back with a jug just to relax. After shooting some beer cans off a tree and starting to get too dark to see, so we headed back towards the steel for another jar. Well, just about then, the whole sky lit up. I looked around, said I must be drunk just a minute ago. Could've swore it was darn near dark. I looked back at Jim, but he had stopped and his eyes were wide. His jaw had dropped. He was staring up at something just above the trees. Well, I looked up there toward that light, and what I saw was a magnificent sight. It was broad, curved, and yellow as it could be. I don't know what sound fly him and that is made, but I listened hard. There was no mistake, it was moving quiet as a breeze through the sky. Jim looked at me, I said, I don't know. He said, Dad, there's a UFO, and he grabbed up the gun with a crazed look in his eye. Now Jim's never been accused of being too smart when it comes to shooting. He can't hit a barn, but he thought he could sight an alien to make a kill. <laughs> Before I could even make sound, Jim had done pointed and fired around, but I couldn't help but notice that bear pointed at the steel. Man, that steel went off like an atomic bomb, shot flame with streams of alcohol. And Jim got hit in the head with some copper line. And I tell you, one way to get an alien's attention is a shotgun blast, and not to mention the explosion seen from a highly flammable shine. Jim wasn't in the face, he just loaded again. I said, boy, if you done lost your sense, that's one big beer can that just might shoot back. And that UFO spun around, zoomed right up and then touched down. I said, I think it's high time we made some tracks. Jim said, I don't think that we can outrun it. I said, well, I ain't staying right here in front of it. Besides, I figure I just gotta outrun you. And man, I let out of there like a scalded dog, and I never looked back at Jim at all. But I could hear him right behind me, I tell him it too. And then he wanted something about a probe in the rear. I said, partner, that's all I need to hear. We jumped in that truck as we were getting on out of there. And I fired her up and slammed her down, cut it slow the back end around. Throwing up rooster tails, her foot in the air. We didn't slow down till we were almost home, and I looked at Jim to get on the phone to that UFO hotline and tell him what we seen. He said, I'm sorry, partner, that ain't gonna get it. Them hotline fellers done put me on the limit. Now I can only call in one time a week, cause I see them flying around all the time. And not just when I'm drinking shine, but also yesterday while picking mushrooms. I said, I were to knock you out, but I don't guess well. To your Paul finds out you destroyed his steel, you're fixing to have plenty of trouble coming to you. And I ain't told so about what went down, cause they wouldn't believe me anyhow. And the next time I'll find another way to unwind. The moral here I won't forget is when Jim makes plans for a weekend trip, we're gonna make a shot.
certainly don't include shrooms or shine. About me and Big John, I just say his name is Jim, don't tell nobody. <laughs>